Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward with your productivity. So today what I wanted to do is go over Wunderlist and what specifically I wanted to do in Wunderlist is show you the same technique that I used within Todoist to organize any targets and goals. I think sometimes it's valuable for people to understand in their native application how to implement such a system. Um, because obviously I know that I do a lot of Todoist videos and I wanted to share how you could get started using Wunderlist and using the same sort of concept to organize your goals and targets for the year. Now this is a video explaining a concept on how you can coordinate it. It's not specifically telling you that this is the correct method to go about organizing your targets. Everyone's different. This is solely a suggestion based on a productivity tool that you could be using in your day. And only something that I, I recommend that people give a try because obviously the more things you try, the more concepts you give a go, um, the, the higher chances of your kind of success in making you find the perfect fit for you when you're organizing hol holistical tasks. So here we go. Uh, what I wanted to do is show you this on Wunderlist. So this is Wunderlist for web. Um, obviously on other platforms, it's gonna look a little different. Um, but as you can see down here, I've made a folder uh, called goals. And what I've done here is I've created uh, specific uh, folders inside those folders. There's, these are called checklists here. I've done one for year, one for month, one for week. So as you can see, the year is obviously 2016. So that's going to be a whole year target section. Month is obviously March 2016. So I've put that little note next to it. So obviously when I update this, I can simply go to the arrow here and edit this list name. Down here, week is March 7th. So that's an opportunity for me to see when the week commence starting um, there. So as you can see, there's three main sections here, the week, month, and year targets. So for example, what I tend to do is I break my areas down into three. So it's career, which is you know your job or your role, uh, personal, it could be personal brand, uh, but I, I, I'm gonna put personal brand here. And, and finally, fitness and health. Um, now, obviously, it depends on your situation. I recommend keeping it to three or four because obviously, you know, you could get a long list of stuff. You could separate all of these different stuff. But these are the main categories that I focus my attention on and tend to have targets in. So in Vindalist, what you can do is if you press into a specific task uh, up here, obviously, the sidebar comes. Um, so what you want to do is you either want to go to notes um, and write the following. So make three specific targets for that week. So maybe it's um, uh, work on lifting, I don't know, uh, 50 kilos, and then so on and so forth for all these segments. So there we go. So whenever you click into that specific task, uh, you get the note, which is your three targets in fitness and health that week. So as you can say, three by three by three. And if you did that with month, and if you did that with year, you'd be able to get a kind of really kind of visual approach to everything. So as you can imagine, best thing to do is probably start with your year. So you can start with your year with the career, personal brand and fitness and health. Do these three targets for each three of them and then work your way down. So your month, tar um, your sorry, yes, your month targets should be directly coordinated with your year targets and your week targets should be directly coordinated your month targets. So that obviously, so for example, let's say my year target was uh, lift 100 kilograms. Um, my month target could be, because I'm currently able to lift 30, let's say, uh, maybe my month's target's 40 kilograms because I'm only a, th a third of the way through the year. Um, and then my week target would be maybe uh, attempt to lift 35 kilograms. As you can see, obviously everything kind of has a, a roll on effect. Um, so that's a really good way of doing it. If you have the ability to add subtasks, this might be a more effective way in managing this. So if you wanted to kind of organize it like this, so if I typed in uh, lifting 50 kilos, then let's say you complete that that week, you can have that item ticked off and have it as a kind of record, uh, which is good. And then as you can imagine, um, what you could do is at the end of that week, you could hit complete. 
Um, and then if you ever wanted to reference it back, you could go into completed uh, to-dos. And obviously the timestamp is where it becomes really valuable. So as you can see here, I ticked off something uh, the third week in February, personal brand. Um, and that was a Thursday, February 18th. Let's say I was like, oh, okay, I need to go back to that. Uh, what I could do here is I could see, oh, yeah, I actually completed reaching 1,680 subscribers. Useful way to kind of track uh, everything back when you're using the list. The kind of final thing I wanted to end on is this potential of adding targets. So as you can imagine, in Wunderlist, you have the ability to add targets as, um, sorry, you have the ability to add tags to any sort of post. So if I entered into this one, what I could simply do is go up to the top and when I'm editing it, um, which I believe you can do, yep, um, I could add targets as a hashtag. And as you can imagine, very simple and easy to use. So all you have to do is click into targets and you can see a holistic view of all of your targets. Now, let's say you wanted to do that for your week and month. So every single task in here, you assign the hashtag targets to. And then everything in your week and month targets appears here, which is quite nice because you can kind of go, oh, okay, yeah, what's the month one really fast without having to jump between folders specifically, which might, you know, disorientate you a little. Especially very useful when using tags is if you're using it on iPhone or Android, you can view it quite fast, quite smooth and quite easy. So that's a good suggestion there for anyone looking for a kind of holistical view of all of the tasks over those period of time or, or just generally, generally all of the targets that you've got inside Wunderlist. Anyway, guys, that was a really, really quick preview into what I think you could be doing with Wunderlist and how to organize your goals and targets. As I said before, it's something that you can take into consideration. Um, these aren't the kind of be-all and end-all. As you can imagine, there are hundreds and thousands of, of separate methods. And all I'm trying to do is kind of show you how to implement this in a kind of productivity system. Uh, it's not something that I say will work or will do will work. Um, but this actually does help me win a Todoist. Um, I'm able to because, you know, Wunderlist and Todoist and all of the other applications tend to be very good at being able to access, uh, be accessed offline. So what I'll tend to do is on the train home, I'll kind of flick to this view in Todoist, um, the three by three by three. And then I can go, OK, how am I getting on with my week targets? And then I'll jump into my year targets and go, mm, do I need to change one of them and then tweak all of the others? Or or do I need to, am I heading towards my month goals OK? Anyway, this is just, as I said, a very uh, precise and um, and focused way to do it inside a, a task manager. But anyway, guys, that's literally the episode today. I really want to thank you all recently for pushing all my videos out, and I'm really looking forward to doing some more Vindalist ones. I've been very slack. Um, I've been slacking in the Todoist area, um, the Vindalist area, not in the Todoist area at all. Um, so I'm going to hopefully be doing some more videos, even if they're simple tutorials. At how to use tagging or inboxing or folders or tags or the world's the oyster when you're using uh, Vunderlist. But anyway, guys, I really appreciate it, uh, all the subscriptions as well. So please, if you haven't subscribed yet, I put out weekly videos, maybe two or three a week. So I would really appreciate a subscription. Make sure to have a great week, guys. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.